everybody, welcome back to Crate and Art. Today we are going to make something fast and easy, something for St. Patrick's Day. So let me show you what we're going to need today. You're going to need a glue gun, go ahead and turn that on, a pair of scissors, or something to cut this little piece of wood that I'm going to show you. You need some of these, um, I picked these up at the Dollar Tree, they're just like a styrofoam glitter type clover. So you only need one of these. And that's what you need your scissors for because you're going to trim this to the right size. So we just need one of these today. You get a six pack for at the Dollar Tree. You're going to need a drill with a little drill bit. Um, this is going to depend on the size of your stick that you need. So match them up about close as you can get. Then you're going to need some metallic paint. This is like an antique copper, but you could use whatever color you think you might like. This is the one that I chose. You're going to need these little letters or any kind of letters that you have or be creative. You can use something else, but this is what I chose. I got these at the Dollar Tree um, and I picked out some little letters that I want to use today. And the word I'm going to use today is luck, L-U-C-K. So those are the little green letters I picked out. And then you're going to need a wooden block from the Dollar Tree. This says it is a 2.25 inches or 5.7 centimeter um, width and height. So you need one of those. Some pennies. So I have some random old ones and new ones. You could use all old, you could use all new, or you could use a little bit of both. And um, a piece of wood to drill um, the hole through so it doesn't go on your table. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so now I got everything situated. I did forget to tell you that we do need a paintbrush and we do need a little bit of twine. And I got this little jute twine at the Dollar Tree. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to paint this block whatever color you want. I chose this metallic um, copper paint here. And what you want to do is you just want to give it a light coat all over it. Okay, so now we have our block painted and let it dry completely before you start gluing or your pennies will not stick to it. So to get started, you want to pick out your pennies. So you're going to need nine pennies covers one side and we're going to cover five sides. We're not going to cover the bottom. Okay. So go ahead and pick out your, um, nine pennies per side. Okay, so after you pick out your pennies, the first thing you want to do is you need to take your drill and drill through, say like this set right here is going to be my top. So the top one, you can take your penny, that's for the, the top, and you're going to drill a hole right into the middle of the penny. So, got my little. Okay, so after you get your hole drilled in your penny, it's going to look just like that. So then you're going to take your block and you're going to start gluing on your pennies on top. So you kind of, I put mine on here like this and they'll kind of hang over the edges just a little bit. And the one with the hole will go in the center. So it will look like this. And they kind of hang over, um, but don't have them hang over the bottom because then when you set your block up, it'll hit on the bottom. 
Now we're working on the top first. So what you want to do is just kind of line them up. And I'll take one off at a time. And I will put a little bit of glue on my block. And I will set the penny down and push it down. Trying to keep these even. And we'll go to the second penny. You can put it on the block or on the penny, it doesn't matter. Push it down. If you mess one up, you can just take um, a little screwdriver and pop the penny back off. There. So you just keep doing and I'll show you when I get them all done. Now when you do the middle penny, put the glue not where the hole is, so put it around the hole. See that? Okay, so then when you get to this side, you're going to do the middle one. But you're going to leave these two off. So put set them aside. So now you're going to turn this. This is the top. Let's do this side. We'll do the front side. And again, just put all the pennies on here. Now this is the bottom, so you want to keep it flush. So we'll start with the bottom first. Okay, so once you get all your pennies glued on, you're gonna have the one that's on top and the two missing um, spots right here. So what you want to do is take a piece of string, it's a little piece of this twine, and you're going to feed on the luck here. Make sure all of the letters are facing the correct up and down. L U C K. So then you have this. It says luck. You could do lucky, you could do whatever word you want. You could put St. Patrick's Day if it would fit. But anyway, so what we're going to do first is you're going to take the one end of your string and you're just going to lay it right on top of where your penny's going to go. So I'd like to put a little bit of glue and take your penny and push it down right on top of that string. So it looks like that. And you're going to move these over and you're going to put on this side. So you're like up at about, depends on how far down you want to let it hang, but say about right here. Cut your string a little shorter. And you're going to glue that on about like this. Okay. So you're going to do the same thing. You're going to put a little bit of this glue, take your penny and put it on top. And now you have that. So it's kind of sticking out. So I'm going to put just a little bit of glue and glue it down. You could glue this down or you could glue the edges. So we'll start up here. We'll try to put a little bit of glue right on this. See if that will hold it down. And then you're going to put a little bit of glue underneath this side and hold it down. 
so it looks like that. Okay, so now what you want to do is where the hole goes right here, you're going to take your drill that you use to drill the hole in the penny and you're going to drill this down. So we're going to cut this shorter and put this in on the top. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So you have a hole. So now you're going to take this little guy and you're going to put it and you're going to cut this shorter. So what I like to do is cut a little bit, a little bit of this off so you get to right height. You can have it tall, but I like it short. So we're going to cut some more of this. So I still think it's a little too tall. What do you think? Maybe a little bit shorter. Just like that. Yeah, I think that's cute. So then you're going to take this and you're going to put a little bit of glue around here. And you're going to stick this in there. And make sure you have it straight before it dries. See? Isn't that the cutest little thing? I just love it. And this is perfect to put on your tiered tray. Okay, we're all done. Isn't it cute? I think it turned out awesome. This will look awesome on your tiered tray. I'd love to see how your guys' turn out. I would love to see if you put any variations to it. You could post pictures in the comments. I'd love to see it. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe to my channel and come back and see me. Thanks.